guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to find integral of cos cubed of x. So we can write this integral as integral of cos of x times cos squared of x dx. Now let's look at the identity of cos squared of x plus sine squared of x equals 1. So let's rearrange for cos squared of x. This gives us 1 minus sine squared of x. So now we can substitute this in to the integral. So this gives us the integral of cos of x times 1 minus sine squared of x dx. So let's expand this. This gives us cosine of x minus cosine of x times sine squared of x dx. So the reason we do this is because we can integrate this, because we've got the derivative next to the function of sine of x before we can do this, because we didn't have the derivative of cos next to that. So I'm going to split this up into two integrals, and then use substitution for the second part. You could also use um, integration by inspection to integrate this, but I'll be doing substitution just to show you clearly step by step how to do this. So let's split this into two integrals. So we get integral of cos of x um, minus integral of sine squared of x times cos of x dx. So now for this integral we want to let u equal sine of x. So if we differentiate we get du dx equals cos of x. So let's bring this dx up here. So du equals cosine of x times dx. So now you can see that we can substitute cosine dx here in for du and we can express sine squared of x as u so this will give us integral of cosine of x minus integral of u squared du and now we've got two integrals that we can integrate so integral of cos is just sine of x integral of u squared du is minus u cubed over 3 plus c. So now let's substitute u back in and this will give us sine of x minus sine cubed of x over 3 plus c. So there you go, the integral for cos cubed of x.